Hey guys, it's Donna again. Today I'm going to be doing my seventh installment of my Conspiracy Theory Thursday series. You know, I look crazy. I'm trying to pre-film before, you know, the whole entire school thing, like, really, really hits me. But right now, I know that it's supposed to be a Thursday, and I'm uploading this on a Sunday. I'm genuinely sorry from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. I'm sorry. My life is completely crazy. I hope you guys can be understanding and just a normal person. I said that like I was relevant. I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying, you know, I'm a normal person with normal struggles, and I don't have time to edit two hours a night. So, plot twist, I do have a life. So, I'm genuinely sorry. So the reason why you clicked on this video is because you obviously want to learn more about Bigfoot and the Vlogmas Monster. First, we are going to start off with Bigfoot. I'm going to leave out some of the theories because I'm Christian and I don't believe in evolution. So I just genuinely, like, I don't want to put that in my video because I don't stand for it. Bigfoot is this person who walks around the woods. There has been sightings of more than one. So Bigfoot is this human-like thing that inhabits normally in the Northwest. Off of the topic for a second to say that... St. Helens erupted in 1980. You might think that you don't need to know that, but it's important to this theory. It's not set in stone fact, but there were people who claimed to see federal helicopters so that they were carrying off the charred remains of several Sasquatches. Prior to this whole entire disaster, it was known that that was a very common place to see Sasquatch, so I kind of believe that. I don't know, people are very sketchy. It has been an ape man sighting since the 1920s. So many of these stories kept coming out how they were really, really close to St. Helens. It happened so much that a nearby gorge, they named it Ape Canyon. I feel like if the stories weren't true, I don't think they would name a whole entire thing after it. And there's been so many stories, and you know, after a while, if there's so many stories, then I kind of believe that it's real. I mean, if it was just one person saying that they saw the sighting, I wouldn't personally believe it. But since it's so many people who were saying that they saw Sasquatch, I don't know, might be true. 1973, Pennsylvania UF researcher Dan Gordon said that he recognized more and more sightings were entering and exiting extraterrestrial vessels. This theory states that Stan Gordon said that they actually might be from aliens. I don't necessarily know if I believe in aliens. Please don't shout at me. I know that so many people have said that they have seen him, but I don't know. But that is a story for another day. I'm going to be doing an Area 1 Conspiracy Theory video. So if you want to see that, then you can. But basically, this whole entire conspiracy theory revolves around the Sasquatch primates. Extraterrestrial. I don't know, I think that that just seems kind of crazy. So I'll just have to add in that theory, in case you believe it. Gordon set up a UFO Sasquatch hotline that still runs to this day. This next theory, there really isn't much evidence to back it up or anything. It's basically just saying that a Bigfoot is a big sloth. Saying that they are actually ground surviving giant sloths. That's really all that it said. This article doesn't really say much. The most jarring questions out of this whole entire conspiracy theory kind of thing going on and revolving around Bigfoot is that everybody says, okay, why if Sasquatch is real, then why can we never find their bodies or anything like that? Well, this conspiracy theory revolves around that. Basically, it states that Sasquatch buries their dead whenever their family dies. Which, if I'm not mistaken, this article said that elephants do it. And I think that Bigfoot is an animal, so there might be another species out there that buries their dead, just like Sasquatch. But you can look it up if you want to, but many people have claimed to see Bigfoot burying other Sasquatch. So if you want to read into that, then I'm sure that you can. I couldn't find a link personally, but if you can, then. 1999, a stimulation of fires ravaged in Nevada. The mountain was called Battle Mountain, and supposedly there was an injured Bigfoot supposedly spotted in carnage before being taken away by the government. But yeah, there wasn't really much in this article either, so I'm going to link down below more information. That is all for Bigfoot. This video is highly requested, but surprisingly, there wasn't that many articles about Bigfoot, but actually there's a whole entire show dedicated to this, so if you are more interested in it, then you can watch Finding Bigfoot on Animal Planet. Sponsored? I'm kidding.
obviously. So now I'm going to get on to the Loch Ness Monster Conspiracy Theory. So the Loch Ness Monster is kind of similar. Also nicknamed Nessie. This creature is allegedly found in the Scottish Highlands. And the water there is 600 foot deep, which is really deep. I think, I don't know, I'm pretty sure where this massive water is. I think that it is in Scotland. How this started is a long, long time ago, and an Irish monk allegedly saw him. I don't know why I keep saying allegedly. Call me Tana Mojo. I don't know. <laughs> this dude named Gordon Holmes. He filmed this whole entire thing about how the Loch Ness Monster was real, and it was this video, and it kind of looked like the Loch Ness Monster. American computer experts researched the video and decided that it was actually not the Loch Ness Monster, that it was a 15-foot eel. And Gordon, which was the one who filmed the video, he apologized for the whole entire thing, but I'm sure that he actually genuinely thought that it was the Loch Ness Monster. It is a whole entire rumor that the Loch Ness Monster is some kind of dinosaur, and I've seen pictures of the Loch Ness Monster, real or not. I think that it looks like a water dinosaur, but that's just personally my opinion. The part that I don't really agree with, they're saying that it is a 65 million year ago dinosaur, but I don't believe that. Because I believe that the world wasn't created that long ago because I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, so. But the dinosaur that they thought that it was was the Plesiosaurus. I think that's how you say it, but they actually found it on the bay of the exact piece of water where they said that the Loch Ness Monster was. And I really, really think that that's interesting. There might be another one. I don't know. But sadly, and I'm sorry that this little theory that was going on was actually announced as a hoax and that it was not real. But plesiosaurs are actually cold blooded, so that couldn't really be the case. Graduate Neil Clark, he studied at a university. He studied on the Loch Ness Monster for two years and he came to the conclusion that the reason why people thought that the Loch Ness Monster was real was actually false and that they actually saw an elephant trunk. And so everybody was questioning where do you think that these elephants came from? But this is the best part, I actually get a laugh out of it. They're saying that the elephants were from a circus and they went away for a swim and that's why elephants are in that body of water this next little theory i might believe i don't know i'm kind of on the fence about it but basically it is scientific and for the most part i do believe in science so basically they were saying that this body of water has a lot of waves and so there is a lot of steep drops and so fluid dynamics can occur and that's why people think that the longest monster is real is because of all these waves and it looks like something's in the water i think that that might be reasonable but i still think that i kind of believe in the longest monster i don't know i'm just on the fence about this whole entire theory i don't really have a set in stone this is what i believe so that is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry this is a little bit of scatterbrained. There weren't many articles on the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot, which is really, really surprising, but I still wanted to do this video because you guys requested to see it, and so that's what I'm going to give to you. But I did promise to you guys that I was going to upload this on a Sunday, and do I disappoint? No, I do not. So, exposing the world's bigger one videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.